And back on money bags, Lee. He's got queen six this time. Well, he limps in. He calls. Let's see what Pete Lawson does. Now, Pete's only got jack six of diamonds here. Double it. But he's going to sweeten it a little bit. He's going up. Well, that is a sweetener, as we say. It's the minimum raise possible. Now, virtually, there's no hand that Lee's going to throw away for 20,000 more. A little chump change. Just wants to 66,000 out there. He's not going to throw it away for 20,000 more. Here comes a flop. Uh, look at this. Ooh. Seven, six, deuce. They both hit their sixes. Check. But notice that Lee has the bigger kicker. He's got the queen. Yes, and he's checked Pete it. has the jack. This is a major problem now for the young player. Like Pete's going to bet 115,000 here with the second pair, nice. the two sixes. Nice solid bet by Pete. Very tricky player, this Lee Watkinson. Well, let's see how he's going to play these two sixes, or if he's going to play them. Not an automatic kind of call. Well, Vince, he's not calling. He's nope. re-raising him. He's betting 300,000 here. Come on, Lee. Lee raised And Pete says all in, Vince. Just that quick, he's going all in for 910,000 here. That is tremendous. He is tired of getting pushed around. He's going to push Lee right back in the corner, he hopes. Well, Pete stands up. He's done his work. He's gone all in here. <laughs> The nerve on this guy. But will Lee make the right decision here? Folks, don't go away. We'll be right back with more on the World Poker Tour. We're in Hollywood at the Legends of Poker, where the pressure is building on poker pro Lee Watkinson. Can he make the right call, or will Pete Lawson's all-in result in a legendary laydown? Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Lee Watkinson, our chip leader, facing a big $610,000 decision right here. Will he make the right choice? Well, this would be a very tough call. Pete Lawson's poker life just flashing right in front of him at this moment. But Pete might actually think his two sixes are good. If the guy had no repair of two sevens, he would have most likely already beat you in the pot. Yeah, I'd prefer just to take this right now. We sure Get would. Get away with this. Yeah, you know, shenanigans. Had, even if his opponent had an 8-9, he wouldn't want him calling no. this bet. The question is, will Lee Watkinson make the right decision here? Can he do it again, Vince? Well, this is a poker savant. Red hot on the circuit. This would be uncanny, folks, if he makes this call. I'm going to call. Oh, he's doing oh. it! <laughs> Folks, this is unbelievable. He has made this call here. It's uncanny, I tell you. And the crowd is absolutely silenced. They turn over the cards. The call of the year here, man. I can't believe this. The crowd roars because they see it now. It's queen six versus jack six. I can say that well, again. Unbelievable. Right now, the kid's saying, well, no that. wonder this kid has been at the final table two weeks in a row on a World Poker Tour event. Nice call. Here comes the turn card. Well, here it comes. That's a nine. Now, what that means is Pete Lawson must catch a jack to stay alive in this tournament. He's down to one card. Can he catch lightning in the bottle again? He needs a jack with one to go. His poker destiny on the line. It is it's not. A well, they shake hands. Well, the crowd chants Lee, and they should chant Lee for the call he made there. An amazing play by Lee Watkinson there. Uh, you know, he's got to get a voodoo doll of Lee Watkinson and start hitting needles on it because that is just devastating. Thanks, he's coming over to hey, see us. Man. Thanks, Congratulations. Pete, great no, week, my man. That's great effort. Yeah, and, and don't feel too sorry for him, folks. He's taken home $272,665. What a week for yeah, Pete Lawson. comes up, I win because I got to play a heads up. I get busted by Doyle. Well, that was one hell of a call. So what happened in the last hand? You know what? Um, short stacked going against uh, either me or uh, Doyle had to make a move sometime. But I mean, it's an honor to play with him. It, um, all those guys, uh, great players. I was, uh, I feel privileged to even be at that table. We are in heads up competition. The great Doyle Brunson against Lee Watkinson. 
There we see the first lady of poker, Linda Johnson. Please to show us the money. And she is introducing the talent for the presentation. Here we go. Advance. They only do it one way here at the bike, and that's on a bike. Now, you see, these guys used to be on the professional poker circuit. They ran bad for a couple of tournaments in here. This is why they're doing this. And now Shauna Hyatt is getting her hands involved in that stack. Out comes the cash, the crowd clapping. We got jugglers, unicyclists, pretty girls. Nearly $2 million on the table. Well, Doyle's enjoying the show, of course. Why not? As is Lee. I mean, they're going for over a million bucks between them. The fun and games are over. It's back to business. Heads up play to determine the next Legends of Poker champion. Well, your pick was Doyle Brunson to win it. I took Lee. So finally, one of us is going to be right. As heads up play begins, Lee Watkinson has a little over $5 million in chips. Doyle has a little over $1.6 million in chips. And Vince, for the second consecutive week on the World Poker Tour, Lee Watkinson has made it to heads up. And not only that, he's had over a 3-1 to one chip lead on his opponent both times. Well, the blinds and Andy's are going up. Blinds are going to be 15 and 30. Well, action's going to be on Lee here. Look at this, Vince. He just has a 5-3 offsuit. He is not going to be intimidated by the great Doyle Brunson. He's going to raise it to 80,000 with a 5-3 offsuit, folks. Right behind him, Doyle with a little suited connector. He's going to call this. He has 6-5 of hearts. Yes, he does. So here we go. Action on hand one. And look at this. A oh, bingo man. for Doyle. It's come 7-4-3. He's flopped the nuts and oh, checks. He is digging the hole. He's putting the twigs and the sticks over it, waiting for a sucker to fall in. Well, and that would be Lee at this point. Well, Lee's flop bottom pair and a gut shot straight draw. So he's going to bet at this pot. He's bet 100,000. Doyle Brunson has trapped his man. Flopped his straight. And all Doyle is thinking about now is, how can I maximize my return on investment here? How can I get this guy to put the most money in the pot? Oh, cowboy song's going off in this man's head right now. So he doesn't raise with a straight. He just calls here on the flop. Very casually, and it only gets better. A ten of spades. And again, Doyle checks. He's throwing the rope to his opponent. Oh, giddy up, cowboy. He's hoping Lee takes the bait. He's going to milk him like a Holstein. And Lee's doing it. <laughs> he He's betting 200000 Now what's the master going to do? Is he going to call this 200000 or is it time for him to take a raise? Uh, we are in L.A., close to Hollywood, and you're seeing it right here. He's a performer. He's an actor. Folks, he's the multi-academy award winner in the poker world, believe me. It's one of the great feelings in poker when you got your cinch and you got a man betting right behind you. You're setting him up. Well, but the question is, how do you play it, Vince? How do you get the most money out of your cards. One more. He well, is going to raise it. Yeah, he's going to step it up. He's going to hope his opponent has something where he can win a big pot here. He's building here, putting the blocks on. Now Lee's looking down at him saying, hey, what is this guy all about? I got a piece of this. I got my threes. I got my inside straight draw. Now, Vince, that's What's not this very guy much doing? when the guy raises it 400,000. You got bottom pair and a gut shot draw. No, it's not, but you know what? He's been known to make moves before. You have to in heads up. We're seeing it all night long here. Well, it's 400,000 more to call. I'm all in. He's oh. all in. Oh, he has oh. made the misstep of the night. He has stubbed his toe badly here, folks. Doyle has sold him a bill of goods, and he has bought it. I call about This way. is not Pete Lawson. This is Doyle Brunson. He quickly calls it. Well, Doyle turns up the oh. nuts. And that's devastation time oh, to Lee. I'll Look tell you. That. I can tell you that's a knife in the stomach of Lee Watkinson right there. Now he can catch a six and tie this pot. He can get a split out of it if he's lucky enough to catch a six. The crowd roars when they hear about the hand. He flopped the nuts. So right here on hand one, Doyle Brunson could very easily double up. Well, these guys will be virtually even in chip fence. Just that quick after one hand. And poor Lee on his own little private pity party. He is sickened by this. Well, there comes the river. He can tie at best. It's an eight. So there you have it. Texas Dolly has come back to tie this match. Giddy up, Cowboy. You have done it.
crowd just loving this. The master coming back. Vince, I got to tell you, unbelievable. in my view, Lee Watkinson hit one out of bounds there. He fumbled the ball. He Not made a race. big critical mistake. I don't mind him betting 200,000 on 4th Street there, but when Doyle comes over the top for 400,000, remember, he checked and called you on the flop. Now he checked raised on the turn. That's usually a sign of a big hand. Lee didn't pick up on it, and he paid dearly for it. He is resilient. He's a great player. Can he come back from these type of hits? Well, they're counting out to see exactly how much Doyle has. And then you got to be wondering what's going through Lee's mind here. Six, that's a million, that's Last a million. week he had a big chip lead and blew it. Is he worried about doing the same thing again? And Vince, look at this. Here comes Paul Phillips with one of Doyle's books. <laughs> He's going to point this out to Lee Watkinson. They're good friends. At least they used to be good friends. <laughs> Not necessarily the best time to play yeah. a little prank. Well, you're right. <laughs> a lot at stake here. <laughs> Paul's getting a laugh out of it. Well, Paul can laugh because he was in this exact same position <laughs> one year ago. He was a big chip leader playing heads up, and he lost that title to Mel Judah. Lee's saying, hey, wait, don't bother me. I just lost a couple million in that pot. Yeah, so Vince are virtually tied in chip count right now. But what's interesting about this is that the blinds and Andy's are still pretty darn low, so there's lots of room to play and see the best strategy that these two great players can do. All right, right back on the master. Now Brunson, this time he's got an ace-deuce. Yeah, Doyle knows an ace is a favorite over a random blind hand, so he's going to raise it to 65,000. He takes a peek at an 8-5 offsuit, trying to shake off that last debacle. He wants to speculate. Well, he's going to call it. He's going to try to hit a flop here, see if he can get lucky and catch something. Let's see if he can do it. Now flop is king, queen, eight. Well, he did catch something. He caught a piece of that. He's got eights. He quickly checks. Doyle with absolutely nothing but ace high. The Doyle raised before the flop. Is he going to pull the trigger here? Yes, he is. He bets 90,000. Nice, solid bet. We know he just has ace high. Now put yourself in Lee's position here. Your opponent raised before the flop. Come king, queen, eight. He's bet on the flop. Do you want to call a bottom pair? No. Well, he's been intimidated. He lays that hand down. And so far, Lee's 0 for 2 in this heads-up match. He's on the left foot when he should be on the right here, Vince. Well, don't go away. We'll be right back with more on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. And don't change that dial, folks. We are seeing some incredible poker right now by the living legend Doyle Brunson and the hottest guy on the tour, Lee Watkinson. Yes, now don't forget we started with 667 players. You're right. It was the largest field in the history of the World Poker Tour. We are down to two, and Doyle Brunson raising it with ace-king, 90,000 he makes it. Now let's take a peek at Lee's cards. He's got ace-eight of clubs. Well, a nice hand. He's normally very aggressive, but he's just calling here. And that's kind of interesting. He's just going to call us. A lot of players would go over the top with this. Here we go with a flop. He's going to need some help. Well, it comes 10-7-4. Helps neither player. Well, it goes check, check. Turn card. Well, the turn card is a deuce. Another blank. Again, Lee checks. Doyle's starting to reach for chips here. See if Doyle comes out to play. Check. But he checks also. Slows down. Here's the river. Doesn't want to fall in any traps here. Nothing on the river. Again, Lee checks. And Lee thinks his ace might be good at this spot. It's not. Doyle's kicker is going to get him. Oh, what a look of disgust on Lee's face with that. He's saying to himself, a man's checking all around the place. I still can't win. Well, so far, everything going Doyle Brunson's way here. Well, this is becoming a reoccurring nightmare for poor Lee. Can he have the composure to come back? We will see. Lee Watkinson has a lot of experience overpowering his opponents. My name is Lee Watkinson, and I play No Limit Texas Hold'em. Lee Watkinson is, seems to be a very disciplined player.